because it's Dina Rasmussen who's coming from over the shuttle, above the shuttle when she's playing shots at the front of the court, whereas Wang Yihan is coming from underneath the shuttle. Look how she, low she's taking it, coming from below. Tina Rasmussen addressing and taking the shuttle much, much higher. She's really concentrating very hard and getting the steep angles in with the attack and then trying to get as early on the net as she can, as you say, Jim. Very good example. Very early on the net. Good control. opponent to the back, Tina Rasmussen, and then bringing Wang Yihan forward, then pushing her to the back again. Now pushes her to the back once again, and it's always on the diagonal showing she, Wang Yihan is having to run the full diagonal, that's the longest distance on the court. And now the Dane just two points away from the opening game. Constructed point five from one in hand. shot from the defending champion over the head of Tina Rasmussen. She thought it was going to go long of that back line, but you were right in the middle and perfect length of shot that these two players are hitting is just extraordinary. Yes, but Tina sticking with the tactics there again, the very aggressive return of serve to start that rally and trying to keep the Chinese girl under pressure. Same again, very positive return of serve, and just, I think that's just stressing the Chinese girl a little bit. I think she'd be liking to get into the longer tight rallies, and Tina's not given her the opportunities to do that. So now, Nadine with seven game points. Oh, it's just long. Yeah, but once again, positive play. And even if she does occasionally make a few errors, I'm sure from a coaching perspective, you'll probably say, yes, he's right when you've got this sort of lead to go for it. Absolutely, stay positive. Oh, that was getting out, wasn't it? certainly didn't and on her second opportunity Tina Rasmussen closes out the opening game in style First game won by Tina Rasmussen 21-14 21-14 confirms the umpire and as far as the game is concerned perfect tactics to take that opening game 21-14 in 16 minutes
Johnson, so calm as a coach. He was always such a hard worker as a player. He'll be joining the England coaching staff in July. Seconds. Ian, having seen that opening game and the positive attitude of Tina Rasmussen and her physical movement around the court, she's absolutely positive in what she's trying to achieve. Quite frankly, it is difficult to believe that five years ago she had a career-threatening injury, ruptured her Achilles tendon, but she has come back much, much better player because of it, and that's just extraordinary. That's remarkable. Uh, incredible. I mean, there are examples in other sports of players gaining mental strength from serious injuries, and I would say Tina is a good example of that. She's come back a much stronger, tougher competitor than she probably was before the injury. Very focused on what she's trying to achieve. Nice uh, good smash from Wang Yihan. Service over. One all. Forced to play the high back, Antina Rasmussen. That was a sign of danger. Players in trouble. The problem with playing the high back end in badminton is you have to turn away from the net, your back's to the net, you can't see what your opponent's doing, you obviously can't see the court. And technically it's a difficult shot to play, so it's very, very difficult to get it from the back of the court deep to your opponent's end of the court. It's another very good call by the line judge. Yes, I think it will be an interesting coaching break there. I'm sure Kenneth will have been concentrating with Tina on staying positive, get control of the rallies early on. Whereas I think Zhang Ning will have been saying, cut the time down to the rear court, maybe play a little bit flatter to the rear court, not to give Tina a chance to prepare for those big smashes and steep angles that she likes to play. See players playing for deep in their backhand corner. We call it the round the head shot. This one where they're still trying to play with the forehand action. Which really wasn't on balance for that one, Ryan Yuhan. Tina Rasmussen's achievement in reaching three consecutive all England finals. The last player to do that, of course, was Zhijin Feng, who won three consecutive finals, 2005, 6 and 7. But the last Dane to do that was Lena Koppin back in 79, 80 and 81. Lena Koppin winning two of those titles. Seen a little bit of a pattern emerging here from the Chinese player trying to play a little Five, bit quicker two. into Tina's deep forehand corner. And she's just beginning to win one or two mistakes from there. <laughs> There's a real opportunity there for Ryan Lehan. We talked on that previous point here about deep in Tina's Rus uh, forehand corner, Tina Rasmussen's forehand corner. Is that where you see her weakness is, if you, if you can get it past her? Yeah, she has got a tendency to over-rotate a little bit in the deep forehand corner. And when she comes under pressure, that can lead to one or two mistakes. You see Chinese girl again going for that corner, and again Tina just making an error of judgment there. Tremendous. 